All right, so here is the crack that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. So the story behind this job is the customer wants to fix this house up just for a rental property. Now I offered to tape this crack, but that's going to be not within his budget because he just wants to make it nice enough that people will move in. So we're going to use caulking. So the thing about caulking is I'm not going to call it a guaranteed forever fix. Now I've used this for cracks like this in my own house and years later it still held up because the thing about this type of caulking is although it hardens it also always remains just a little bit flexible so it can expand and contract with the crack because cracks are usually happening from seasonal changes and just the expansion and contraction of your home. So when you have an acrylic latex caulking, that allows that crack to expand and contract without the crack ever visibly appearing. So this, so this type of repair is, I'm gonna call a budget repair. And the reason why I'm doing it in this house is because the customer has specified it. All right, so this is the tools that you want to start with. Either you want to start with a knife or a painter's tool. Each will work fine. And what we're going to use this for is just to clean out the loose stuff. So the idea here is just to get that loose stuff. Think of it as like being a dentist where you clean off, you drill out all the loose stuff of the tooth before you put the filling in. All right, so that should do that little area. Maybe I'll just, just do a little bit more there. Okay. Next, you'll just take the caulking and as you probably guessed, <laughs> we just run a bead along that crack. Okay, so there's various little tools you could use to smooth this in, but what I recommend is just, just to use your thumb. So after you've put it on, just try to clean up any little edges with your finger. Just try to smooth any little bit down because this type of material doesn't really sand very well. Or not at all, I should say. So get it right the first time and just make sure it's, it's good and blended. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit up for a while and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a second pass and then I'll let that cure for a couple days and then I'll paint it and that will take care of that crack. So let me let me stress again this isn't the professional way to fix a crack. The professional way is to retape it, coat it, sand it. This is the budget way. So I'm just giving this video for people who just want to do a quick little fix in their own homes or when the customer specifies that they're okay with this fixing method. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.